Hello everyone and welcome to the final episode of Master Detective Archives, Raincoat. Sad to see it go, but all good things must come to an end. And today, we're going out in style. Talk about saving the best for last. A very happy surprise is the fact that the final sub-story for Raincoat also comes with a short but sweet send-off for Yako Furio, a character who's gotten a lot of love in the accessory media of the sub-stories. And, well, you know me, I'm a big fan of that, but... What will this contain? I have no idea, and I'm so excited, so let's jump into it. Before we do, though, show me some love, and as we say goodbye to this crazy, crazy game, I'm only a little emotional. I, I don't know when we'll get the next Tukio Games project from Kodaka and Friends, but wow. Okay, so yeah, you should definitely not start with this one. You can do the, you know, pre-order novel in any order. It doesn't, doesn't really matter, but yeah. For those who saw the final chapter, this scenery shouldn't be too foreign. Are they gonna... Are they gonna show what happens after? No way. Darling. Darling. Are you effing joking? Is he gonna meet his wife again? Whoa. All right, you have my attention. Oh, oh God, I, I got, oh my God, we're playing Yako Zombo. Uh, need foot massage. <laughs> Sorry, his shoes, his shoes just look so uncomfortable. Whoa, what is that? Yes, I'm Yuma, Chief, you understand me? All right, now hold on. I have way less uh, confidence in my old headcanon of Yuma and Yako's relationship. But I'm not gonna lie, if uh, if my theory turns out to be true, that make him a Debbie dad. But also, you know, I it'd be kind of sweet. Don't worry. Okay, it's just I'm all of them. The ultimate master detective. I won't cause any trouble for you. It is nice to get all these renders and everything as we kind of reach the end. I'm not. I don't know how long this is, but I, you know, I obviously have a lot to say about Master Detective Archive Renko. First off, man, you gotta make that. You gotta make that. Name Ethan Jordan, but I'll probably that save that for the end. The <laughs> well, dang! <laughs> yeah, we have to have illustrations for all the uh, master detectives. It's gonna take a really long time to illustrate them, but uh, you know, it'll, it'll kind of set this set this tone for the DLC. Oh my God! Why? I'm trying not to laugh, but you gotta admit that was silly. <laughs> Ooh, that's that's kind of creepy. I don't like this. Ugh, my purple hair, babe. But my point is, like, whoever illustrated Hilaras must have been like furious. Bro, that was on screen for like two seconds. Come on. What can I say? They don't talk a lot. Chief, please stay with us. <sighs> okay, same for. It's just a. It's just an interesting amount of effort to put into. Something that is a single frame. Like, am I crazy? Like, that they, they, these I are new. Got a bit lost. Oh, this one's actually repurposed. Or no, it's showing. Yeah, I think it's just showing, like, all the DLCs. So is this a reward? Yeah. So is this your reward for beating them all? Beating. We haven't grown up at all. Oh. Oh my god. Is this about him and his his wife? Please. I mean that's the that's the piece that's missing. In case you're wondering, no, she she doesn't come up in the How to Be a Master Detective from Yaku, featuring Yaku Furio. Pre-order bonus. Oh my god. She's a zombie too. Dang girl, you dang! You know how to dress even though you're undead. Yaku didn't inherit any of that. Waiting for you. My darling. Oh my god. <sighs> I mean, honestly, just give this dude a happy ending. Like, I don't know what angel of, you know, death she is, but... Straight up, since the moment he's on, he's been on camera, Yako's been insane. Like, DLC in my mind should enhance the main story. So if we... Before the rain. 
Five years ago. Uh, oh. I'm sorry, but I quit. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, without... Dang, bro, without a little stubble, he looks like a baby. <laughs> what do you mean? What, are you quitting on me? Oh, golly. Oh, I promise I'll figure out some way to pay you by tomorrow. Please wait just another two days. Uh, no, no, a, a week. Oh. Wait for another week, please. He's so desperate. It, it's not about the money. Take a look at this town. Everything's changed. Nobody wants detectives here. Oh. That's not true. The place has grown so big, it's just harder to see those in trouble. That that don't add up. Uh, yeah, um, he might be he might be right. There are many people in need of our help. Where are they then? We haven't had a single customer for a month. Yeah, that's pretty bad. If there's any trouble, just ask Amaterasu. They do everything, right? All right. Dang, the big bad corpos put in poor mom and pop Yako Furio shop out of business. <sighs> it's home. Why bother hiring a detective? You can get a detective from Amaterasu. It's open every time. But this is our town. If we don't protect it, who will? Our town? How long will you keep dreaming? This place belongs to Amaterasu now. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Just tell him how it is. That's reality. I promise we protect this town together. Wait, who is this guy? But protect it from what? Let the peacekeepers handle it. I hear that Amaterasu pays them pretty well. I'm hoping they'll interview me there soon. Oh, man. This is really how it goes down. Yako, I, I, I feel bad saying this, but you should quit being a detective and find a proper job. What? You think this gig isn't proper? Yeah, that's right. In fact, I think you're out of your mind. Oh my god. Listen, you leave me alone from here on out. I don't want you dragging me down when I try to join the peacekeepers. Oh, well that's cold. Hey. He's, he seemed like he wanted his best interests in mind. That's just... Man, I might tear up. <sighs> <laughs> Man, I hate the peacekeepers even more now. I'm all alone now. What about... Well, I guess she hasn't been introduced yet. Oh! Whoa! Hey there, Chief. Is this Akiyama? What the? Is this a Yakuza moment? What's happening here? Uh, oh, does he know him? When are you gonna pay your rent? Oh, no. Oh, sorry. It's a shakedown. I'm gathering the money for that right now. You said that last week. And if you can't get me the money by today, I'll sell this place off to Amaterasu like I first planned. They'll pay a lot better than renting it out to you. This is the worst. I understand. I'll do something about it today. Wait, how did he afford a submarine if this is what he's... Will that also be answered in this? Actually, could you wait until the end of the month? Not a chance! Man. What a cold world he lived. And he still showed up to, still showed up to that train station with Yuma with a smile. God. Ugh. The sun's out, but man, this is far from sunny. You know what I mean? That was like the stupidest way to say that. Jeez, you really lack the pros. Who are you? Are you with the Nocturnal Detective Agency? No, no snap a customer? Yes. I'm looking for this person. Oh. I'll put a down payment of 100,000. If you find the target and bring her to me, it'll be 1 million. Oh. Oh, you don't say. How about it? I mean. Could be lying, but a million? Can I get a contract and um, I'll start the look? Like I'll do it. Oh my god. Please give me this job. <laughs> he is not the best businessman. <laughs> the woman currently works at a lab for Amaterasu Corporation. Amaterasu again. That's annoying. Oh yeah, buddy. You can hear a lot of them sadly for a while. Is there a problem? If so, I can find someone else. No, you really can't actually. I'll do it. No, there's no problem. Yeah, screw Amaterasu, am I right? Wonderful. Contact me once you find that woman. Understood. Um, just for my reference, what do you do with the gal once I find her? Yeah, Yako's no hitman. He's not gonna take dirty money, even if he is desperate. You'd be better off not getting too nosy. Maybe I'm wrong. A million covers oh. six months worth of rent. 
luck is back on my side. Wait, wait only six months? I better start on the job right away. Uh, 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 <laughs> look at his little walk. What the dump is that? Genuinely bizarre. Wait, what? It's... Oh, it's just normally raining. Not... Yeah, the biochemical mo- Oh. Well. This That's is- the woman. He did that fast. He's pretty capable from the sounds of things. From the, you know, oh. What's he doing? <sighs> he feels conflicted? Because she might end up dead? Uh, excuse me. What nice weather we're having. Freaking dork. <laughs> oh my god, I've heard this 20 times. It's raining? Oh, uh, uh I like the rain. Hmm, how things change. <sighs> Negative rays. <laughs> Fine, here's the truth. I'm a detective. Someone hired me to search for you. You just straight up, what? Ah, uh, got it. I think I know why. I probably know your client, too. Wait, is it like your grandpapa and he's worried about you or something? You don't really like him, so... So? Are you going to contact him? I'll go right now if you want. What? 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 Wait! Damn it. What am I doing? I should have just called the client right away. Yeah, this did not go as planned. Um, who is my client? <laughs> It didn't seem like the usual sort. You like, shouldn't you know this? You're not very good at this, are you? Yeah, I, uh, I work as a detective because I want to protect the city. I can't work for him if he's a criminal or something, even if he's my client. <laughs> well, that's pretty noble. Dang, what happened to her expression? I guess it's the glasses. <laughs> what the frick? They don't love a Mike backstory. Come on, lady. Are you laughing? Hey, I'm dead serious about my job. Sorry, I was just contemplating how your head must be full of rust. What? I'll take that as a compliment. Are you a robot? What the frick is this? It wasn't one. Well, I suppose an antique has its own charms. What a jerk! Antique. All right, lady. I I'm not. I'm not had a great day. I don't appreciate these comments. The client is from our lab's rival organization. Oh. He's probably a headhunter. Oh, snap. So he's from the do What? It's not the war government. I get offers like this all the time. Some try more forceful methods, such as hiring a detective. Oh, because you're a researcher at Amaterasu. That's right. To be honest, it's not that great of a place. <laughs> my boss is an ass, and my colleagues are all depressed. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it's the best. When their oh my god! Doesn't go well, oh, she's venting. And throw mugs at me. Uh, mugs? That's. Oh, you got contact HR. I don't think Amaterasu has HR, but you know. Just the other day. Dang. Anyway, if my research is successful, it'll open a whole new field in regenerative medicine. It's still ongoing, but so far, it can repair nerve cells by simply ingesting medication. That's literally insane. Do you understand how incredible that is? Yeah. Do you see? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about all this. Are you really supposed to tell me what you're researching? Like in an open cafe? Like, isn't it, is this like under, you know, like NDAs or something? I don't know. Shouldn't that stuff be kept secret? I'd really love to avoid getting dragged into a weird mess. He's just worried about himself. God. Oh, no. Well, whatever. Just make sure you don't tell anyone else. <laughs> I was never here. Shut up. You didn't hear anything. Forget it all. I mean, I was only half listening, so that, uh, yeah, I could do that. You should be good at that if you're a detective, right? Sure. Of course. Yo, they kind of they got something going on. Hold up. Well, then, will you also keep quiet about where I am? Yes, of course. Yeah, can you know? Uh, can I crash in your apartment? <laughs> Wait, hold on. You're asking me to lie to my client? That's entirely different. Oh yeah, yeah. He's just not gonna report it. Can't see him misinformation. Come on, lady. How so? You could just say you never found me. This is my job. It'd be one thing if he was a criminal or something, but a headhunter. There's no reason for me to keep quiet. My livelihood is on the line. 
A million. A million is on the line. Right. And I say I don't like it. Can't you respect my wishes? Dang, they're at an impasse. Yako just wants to get paid so we can eat and not starve. Meanwhile, Amaterasu Researcher is, uh... Yeah, this is like a bump in the road for her. Like, come on. I live in this town. You said you wanted to protect us. So why don't you start with protecting me? Oh, okay. Dang, she got me. All oh, right. Uh, hold on. Now, how do you how do you weasel yourself out of that? I work for Amaterasu because I'm from this town. Didn't know I that. I wanted to stay here, so I chose to work for them. I don't want to go anywhere else. If you're from around here, then you should feel the same way. You were born here as well. Will you really sell me out for some cash? Or will you protect your fellow citizen, born in the same town? Well, am I? This is kind of effed up. We were born in the same geographical location, so come on, do what I say. Like, I don't. Also, if this was five years ago. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is not Yuma's uh, mom, basically. Uh, I mean. He's short. He ain't five years old. Short. <laughs> Which part is your real work, Mr. Detective? Oh, true. Ooh, got him a logical fallacy. Gaslight, gatekeep. You know the rest. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I guess you're smarter than me, man. I, uh -huh. I knew I shouldn't have spoken with her. After hearing all that, is there any possible way I could sell her out? Is that something a detective would do? All right. I'll leave you be. But you said you're not happy at your current workplace, yeah? In that case, I think you should really consider his offer. Right, yeah. I mean, why is it not mutually beneficial? No matter what comes my way, I have no plans to change my mind. I love this town. Well, uh, lady, I, they might be making a lab in the same town. Last one. Yeah. Anyway, I'm broke again. See ya. God, what a bummer. I also love this place. That's why I work as a detective. Two young adults just trying to do yeah, what they can. <laughs> My million. Uh, oh. Well. You, you're. What do we do? What? What's happening? I How did you? you. Ah! No! Get out of here now! That's horrible. That's not the sort of head hunting I'd imagined. I didn't see that coming. Bastard. What kind of hitman's got gray hair? Way in this town. I guess one that's pretty good. I'm the only detective Kanai Ward's got. You got that? Yo, that's my man right there. Also, what was his plan? Kill her in broad daylight? I, I mean, uh. then again, I guess there's no detectives in town, so who would pursue the case? Probably no one. Oh man, that's a nice view. Oh, well, hey, at least he this lived. This is the last chance I'll have to enjoy the scenery. What, you think he's coming for you now? Ah, ow. Oh no, right, we're, we're this building, you know, it's getting sold. Oh, dang. Yo, this I fit. I detective agency was here. Are you okay? You're hurt. Oh. Do I look okay to you? <laughs> God! I'm hurting all over thanks to you. <laughs> I lost my pay, and now I'm being forced to cover the damages to that cafe. That's bullcrap. He's even further in debt. Come on, lady. You got freaking STEM research paycheck. Let him crash your apartment and secretly fall in love. You know, like, F it, you know? All like my friends are gone. I have nothing left. Well, um... Uh, are you seeing anyone? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it's cool, you know. You didn't do anything wrong. Why are you here? The client's long gone. I have no business with you. Why do you insist on being a detective? Even if you're doing it for the city's sake, aren't you getting tired of it? Dang, she saw through him like instantly. When I was a kid, I'd gather with all the neighborhood kids and play detective. I loved it. I made matching badges for my friends and we went around patrolling. I was so proud to wear it on my chest. I let it get to my head. I said our group of detectives would protect this town. So it's a childhood dream. 
man, Yako. On one hand, I get it. Like, our young, like I don't know. I, I, I do believe the mental pathways we carve ourselves when we're younger. So, and it kind of does, like, shape our whole life. But right now, dog, just, like, I don't know, work retail a little bit. Like, you know. Like... Uh, it's been decades. But I still can't bring myself to lie to my childhood friends. Kanai Ward is going through some major changes. All the more reason why we need detectives here. You know, he's not wrong. So, I've decided to continue being the only one. Dang, that is rebellious. You haven't grown up at all. No way. Childhood friends turned lovers? Oh, yeah, it's peak. That's... No way. Thanks for protecting me earlier. Susie Carmichael from down the street. No way. You know, more people may be coming after me. Uh. So I'd like to make you an offer, Mr. Detective. How would you like to work as uh. my bodyguard? Uh. <laughs> Empl steady employment? I mean, ch people come for this chick every day, it seems. Oh, my God. I mean, dog, you got to admit, that's pretty cute. I'm sorry. Like, I'm a sucker for that. But that's what the badge means, right? Like, she kept that all this time? Or maybe he dropped it. I don't know. I don't care. I'll draw my own conclusions. But how is this going to end? That is the tightest fitting sweater in the planet. Like, what the freak's that made of? Oh, it's Ross who's built different. They're just making these clothes. Uh, uh, must stop simping. I knew this day would come. Thank goodness for my research. This medicine can regenerate nerve cells. It's still in development, but I suppose I can leave a sample behind. No way. It might be completed if someone takes over my research. Is it, it in the- even regenerate zombified brain cells. Yes. Oh my god. Yako came- What the dumb? Look at you. Protecting me. Thanks, my sweet detective. You've done well. If the medication doesn't help, maybe you'd feel better if you saw me again? Hmm? I'm speechless. No way they do that. No way. Dude, come on, man. I can't. Come on. Does he... Can he do it? Like, how zombie... How zombified is he? I guess they don't show it. Oh my god, bro. Give us the sequel. Please, Kodaka. Please. I'll buy a second copy. He's back! No. Wait! Ah, I can't tell. I... I genuinely can't tell. The scruff... The scruff amount? I mean... Oh god. Cliffhanger. Yeah, does it feel so great when the game does it? Dude, actually, what a, what a ride. It was there the whole time. The DLC was just for a seven Yako Furio fans. Ooh! <sighs> All right. Yeah. Some of the sub stories. But yo, it paid off. Oh. All right. I blew my nose. Short, sweet, just how I like it. We have now officially done... Oh wait, we need to do all the gumshoe gaps. Free. Well, we're almost done with all the content in Raincoat. As it turns out, my theory of Yako being the father of Yuma was dead after and wrong. But is Yako alive? Like, no, the girl's with him and we know the girl died before the monk thing even happened. Bruh! Oh my god, anyway, let's just do Desuhiko's last one. Everybody told me this was good. I'm feeling very forgiving today because life is short unless you're a homunculi so you know hey, water under the bridge what's buddy wrong, Desuhiko? you look down to the ground because you're so small you called me over said you wanted to talk y yeah uh about that uh anyway isn't it so nice to be up here uh i guess <sighs> I don't really know. It kind of gives me bad memories lately. He's been acting like this for over an hour, not telling me why he called. 
What the heck? That would uh, that would test my patience. Is it something you have trouble talking about? Is it that northern lady again? Like I don't know if you want to ask me a favor or something else, but you'll have to talk about it first. Uh, sorry, you're right. Uh, I'm just a bit afraid, is all. We're busy here, so hurry it up. All right, here goes. Out with it, man. Come on. Right. Um, <clears throat> there's a big reason why I called you here today. Okay, can we get to it already? Um, will you join my band? Oh, wow. Then, well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> we're, ban we're panty raiding bandits, and I want you to join us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think the word is bandit. Oh, this is too embarrassing. I can't say it. My man, you should know what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Uh, you sound crazy. But does he? I have to do something or this won't end. Um, what is he trying to say? Co-workers, am I and right? What a handful. What? I gotta pick the silly option. <laughs> banana? <laughs> yeah, bananas. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had any in a while. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> S sorry. I uh, thought that was it. That's not it. Uh, Desuhiko is trying to talk. Wait, you can. You you... Oh man. Want to say ban? I want to pick the other silly option. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how about we form a band? <laughs> Huh? I don't know, man. I can hardly cook a meal, let alone play an instrument. A band? Master's going to join a band? Oh no, all these groupies going after my master? Disgusting. You know, stars and bands go hand in hand. I always plan on going solo, but well, sharing the spotlight with a buddy of mine wouldn't be such a bad thing. Mm. Wow. For the first time in my life. I'm not life. honored at all. I finally met someone I'd want to form a band with. Well, I... That is kind of sweet. It's because I finally met you. A man. Just someone who isn't outwardly mean towards him constantly. Well, I have as the commentator, but Yuma, not so much. He's been very patient. Desuhiko. That's... Banana! <laughs> How about it? Do you want to make a band together? Let's journey on a path towards stardom side by side. Mm, well, about that, you must gotta go to Florida real quick after the ending of this game. Uh, you might be busy. What do you do, Master? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> you know, Yuma, you'll have to accept. I'm happy Desuhiko invited me, but I don't know how to play any instruments. What a coincidence, neither do I. Besides, I'm not interested in joining a band or being a star. Sorry, I'm happy that you asked. What? But... He really says no? <sighs> he's gonna ask again louder. What's this exit? Like? <sighs> Whoa, he's breathing. Yeah. I see. I guess you don't wanna. Dang. Does Uhiko can't handle rejection? You don't say. I don't know if this makes up for it, but how about I support you as a fan? Aww. Huh? My fan? Yes, your very first one. <laughs> no way. I can't agree to that. Besides, uh, you've never heard me sing before. That is true. He never does that. Uh, oh, right. And you want to call yourself my fan? I doubt it. Fake effing fan, come on. You're just offering because you feel awkward for turning down my invitation. Nah, yeah. I'd rather you just completely reject me. Instead of saying that to make me feel better. No, but I, I, like, I don't know. I feel like it truly is what Yuma feels. No, deep down, I want to be your fan. You told me before how you chose to be both a star and a detective. I think you're really cool for not giving up on either dream. And in that sense, I'm already your fan. Okay, he found a way to save it. That's, that's genuine. That's why I'm serious about wanting to support you. <laughs> well... If that's the case, I don't mind having you as a fan. But I still hate that you've never heard me sing. 
Well, we can change that right now. So listen to one of my songs right now. Okay, sure. Huh? You're going to sing right here, right now? What a ridiculous thing to do. Yeah, my brand new banger. The song of my man. He made a song about Yuma. To be honest, he's smitten. It's hard to evaluate if Desirico's song was good or bad. I'm not sure myself because I don't know much about music. But like his personality, the song was very straightforward and heartfelt. I believe Desuhiko will be able to achieve his dream of becoming a star. I don't know why, but I think it'll come true. Heck yeah. <laughs> I guess. Master, you and Desuhiko have forged the ultimate bond together. It's it's a little shaky, but yeah. Master, I'm happy for you. I don't I feel I'm halfway on that because yeah, everyone needs their first fan to get him started. My best friend was my first subscriber. So, I have that going for me as a comparison, but he's just such a dog water character for 95% of the game. I can't, I just can't even dole out a compliment. Anyway, the final gumshoe gab. Would have been more fitting for this to be done in the Vivia event. However, would have been a bit... Hmm. hmm, indeed. Dang, it really would have been more fitting to do this last episode. What's wrong, Vivia? Were you reading Fantastique again? No, it's a mystery this time. I think these are nice once in a while. Oh, so you do like doing your job sometimes. Oh, so you read those too? Oh, no, he's reading a book that is... A mystery. Is that how I became a detective? Or do you get like drafted by the WDO? I don't know. <laughs> I guess it doesn't fit me. It is a bit of a cliche for a detective to read mystery novels. So you haven't read the genre in a while. What's this one about? Hmm. Well, I suppose I'd feel comfortable telling you. Is it embarrassing? Are you reading a shoujo manga? Vivi, come on. Who can Come on, you can enjoy those. Fruit basket ain't all that bad. I actually don't like fruit basket. But um, what do you mean by that? The protagonist is an earnest rookie detective. Oh. <laughs> he began his investigation after receiving a request from a certain girl. Her mother died under suspicious circumstances. Okay, I don't think this is about Yuma after all. Who killed the girl's mother and why? The rookie detective continues his desperate investigation. He seeks the truth, all for the sake of this girl. Sounds oddly romantic. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be romantic. But the truth that awaits him is cruel. Oh. For the girl murdered her own mother. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Homie, you just spoiled the whole bird for me. Dang, I was about to get that. Wow. The girl may not have meant any harm, but her actions unintentionally caused her mother's horrible death. It was a tragic accident. The rookie detective didn't know if it was right to solve this mystery. Mm, it's quite the moral dilemma. What was the point in exposing this cruel truth to the public? Under a standard set of values, one would keep it a secret and remain quiet. Right, but he's a detective. There would be no benefit to telling the innocent girl she was the cause of her mother's death. Oh, she truly doesn't know. Okay. However, the girl wanted that mystery to be solved with all her heart. Yeah, so how do you... Oh my god. Not knowing she was the culprit all along. I mean, what's the best... Yeah, that is tough. Like, would you tell her a lie? Genuinely, like, let me know. Like, Or just let her keep living on a mystery, thinking that her mother's killer is somewhere out there. Personally, I don't know. I I think the only way for her to truly atone will be to tell her. Now, depending on what type of person she is, she can handle that in a lot of ways, but... Uh, then again, oh man, I'm so wishy-washy. I don't know! I guess that's why it's a good book. Crud. Should we reveal the truth to those who seek it? 
No matter how cruel it may be. Oh, foreshadowing. Would you say lies made from kindness are truly kind? I just realized how similar this is to Yuma's. What do you think the rookie detective did in the end? I think he told her. Or rather, what would you have done? Yeah. You Me? Oh, Frey, sorry. Yeah, I... I think you just gotta solve the mystery, and that's it. It's like... I think I would have solved the mystery. Hmm. I see. I'm guessing Vivi's the opposite. What did the rookie do in the end? Well... Human cells will always replace one another. Excuse me, what? The old vanishes. And in time, the new turns old. Considering that, am I the same person at birth as I am at death? Hmm. Yeah, probably. There you go again, trying to muddy the waters. <laughs> you saying I should just read it myself? Oh, come on, man. You already spoiled half of it. Well, who knows? You told me pretty much the whole thing, but yeah. the conclusion a secret. <laughs> All right, I'm going to the bookstore. <laughs> Wait, that book story. Wait, what, what? Huh? Is it about you, Vivia? What? Hmm. Why do you say that? No, really, but what? That's a random conclusion to draw yourself to, you. It's something you mentioned before. Not all mysteries should be solved. Maybe it's your personal experience that led you to believe that. <laughs> your deduction makes sense, but. I'm not sure myself. Either it happened or it didn't, Vivi. What are you talking about? Please don't dodge the subject. You... <sighs> a mystery to the very end. I told you, didn't I? I don't think all mysteries should be solved. You little turd. Whether the story I told you now is from a book or my life, it doesn't change a thing. <laughs> it's gonna wait for Vivi to go to sleep and just take the book. Let me see this crap. Anyway, I'm off to explore another world inside a book. So, which is it? If that's what Vivi has been through, why tell me about it? And now of all times. Maybe in his own way, he wants me to understand him. That would be nice if it's true. Hmm. Maybe this is an unsolvable mystery. Well, hmm. Then what does that mean that he did? <laughs> you know? Master, you oh and Vivi it's the ultimate bond together. I guess it's just a moral quandary for you personally to think about. I'm okay with that conclusion, but good for you, Master. I'm happy for you. I'm I'm not I'm not satisfied. God dang it! Ah. So now that we finished Rain Code and all the DLC that trickled down like rainfall throughout the months, how am I feeling about the game? As Rain Code's biggest simp, biggest fan, and biggest defender. Yeah, the game has problems, absolutely. From Shinigami's abrasive personality to the game just loading to Kane Ward itself being honestly kind of a maze sometimes. I cannot even tell you how much footage I had to cut of just trying to get to a specific building and not being able to find it. I still can't say that I didn't have a good time. Yeah, there are some puzzles and mysteries in this game that are so like, uh, okay, like, all right, we figured it out, and I'm just trying to, like, get through the mystery labyrinth, and oh my god, we can't even, I'm not even gonna get into the mystery labyrinth's issues, but as far as a successor, a spiritual successor to Danganronpa, because let's be real about it, I guarantee 95% of the people that were interested in this were also fans of Danganronpa. Is it a smash hit like that? Uh, in some cases, no. However, I still think an attempt was made. And now more than ever, I appreciate new IPs that are captivating, that are also just consoles. Like, you gotta admit, the life service, I don't wanna make it like a boogeyman, right? But it's changed the gaming landscape in a lot of ways. And ah, it does seem more and more difficult for games like Rainco to prosper. A lot of people are like telling me like, oh, the hype for this game already died. It's like. That's what's supposed to happen. This is not supposed to be a constant dopamine uh, hit. It's just like, this is a solid story. And then you wrap up. As far as actually ranking the chapters, though, it is still just crazy to me. They killed all those characters in Chapter Zero. That is stupid. That They wasted so many resources on something. 
I didn't think people would truly appreciate. Do you remember the old man's name? I effing don't, but he's dead. He actually just died in the story. That's crazy. And so to do this super ambitious thing, we're like, yeah, we're gonna make, you know, we were moving away from PSP technology because that's what the original Danganronpas were on. I don't remember what V3 is on. I played it on PC, but... And to do something in total free 3D and make models that are as detailed as, you know, Shinigami. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Shinigami. I'll say this. She's definitely memorable, for better or for worse, but we could just have a whole thing about her. If he does make Ranko too, please make the companion character a little less abrasive. Like, she's supposed to be grown. I mean, she looks grown. Like, I acted, you know? Like, that would that would go a long way when you, yeah, are making a game. Not about high schoolers. Oh, my God. That's so refreshing. I think it's almost like a trope at this point. Like, oh, Japanese high schoolers are magic powers. No way. And, yeah, this game does have one chapter with high school and magic powers. But it's a good chapter. Good mystery. Boring mystery labyrinth. But really the character that seals the show more than Shinigami and even more than Yuma and Makoto is just Yako. I mean, I haven't really talked about it in detail, but I find myself throughout the day just thinking back. I'm like, dang, Yako's living in a hell. You really only get to know that once you peel away the layers of his attachment to this place. Like now that we played all the DLCs, we know. It was the real deal. Amaterasu coming in, this whole uh, project for the Monculi genuinely ruined his life and killed him. And is there a chance he can come back? I mean, some might even say, yeah, that undercuts his character. Like, oh, he had a magic pill that came back because his, you know, totally hot GF friggin' gave him an early sample. Like, I almost don't care though. I mean, he's just suffered so much. Just, Jesus. The fact he was basically dying to ugh. see there are good mysteries in here but then there's just like lol of water everywhere and it just doesn't make any sense you could take that entire chapter out of the game and nothing would change in fact that would almost increase my enjoyment of the game sorry fubiki stands i'm not one of you or halara or dezuhiko dang i like two characters out of like five that's effed up but it's the truth and it's like, they're not, they're okay. The only one who's truly insulting, I think, is Alara. I'm just like, oh, like, we get it. You want a cat orphanage, okay? You don't, like, it, it, the joke is a little old. But yeah, yet again, Japanese humor is a little harder to translate. That is just about it for closing comments. I still stand by the statement. The DLC was a ripoff, but if it helps them fund and pitch Rain Code 2, if some magic miracle, I guess that's okay. As far as the series go, there are a couple things I wish I did different. Like, man, I really wish I had a more visual gags because, you know, this is a visual game. We're in 3D, you know? Eh, still, eh, we can still do those in future projects. I hope you all enjoyed. Sincerely, thank you so much for supporting my dreams. And yeah, Raincoat, what did you think? Now that it's officially all done, where do we go from here? Probably some other mystery detective game. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, more videos coming soon. Bye.